Hey, I'm Brett Baldwin. I'm here with Graham from Cirrus Suspension. He is the co-founder and we're out somewhere near Lyon, France. Um, we've been here for the past week just testing suspension and coming to a pretty good place. We're with the EBMX and Bonnell Racing teams um, on their completely modified Saron Ultra Bs. So yeah, how's the, how's the week gone for you? I think it's been hugely informative. Um, you know, all of the testing we had done prior to this week has been on kind of stock power plant setups. And of course the EBMX setup is some, it's an entirely different animal, yeah. right? I uh, mean, we're talking 40 plus kilowatts of power, 30 plus pounds of weight um, compared to a stock setup and a bike that's ultimately capable with the right suspension, which is what we're trying to achieve of pretty much racing big bikes. So right. it's a, it's an unreal thing. Um, the whole tuning process has been really intense. So we, we started out day one on kind of a, a smaller motocross track. Um, from there we transitioned into the, some woods at the end of the day just to kind of see, but ultimately what we're shooting for, I think is a really good generalized tune valving wise to where you yeah. can ride just so much cover as much area. range as we can yes right you know what i thought was super interesting from that first day was um i heard jared say well i've never seen an ultra b jump that far before <laughs> like <laughs> yeah you know it's really like you know getting rid of you know any of the shortcomings on the bike right and it's just sort of picking them off one by one it's been it's been super interesting it totally is that that first day we went to quite possibly the roughest track we could have found, I yeah, think. I it was mean, pretty chewed it, up. It, was, it felt like you're at the end of a 30 minute racing moto where you've had 40 bikes on a track. So um, very intense, very much focused that day around, at least for me, on kind of the small bump and the fast chatter acceleration um, and braking chatter that you get there, so. Well, and you guys were huge that day because I mean, you know, between you and Dylan, like we were starting off with like a bass tune that was more of like a calculation than, than anything. Yeah. And then, you know, you really, nothing can substitute real world testing. Absolutely. Yeah. And something that we found on that very first day was like, like you mentioned with like, with the upgraded power that goes into these EBMX ultra modified bikes, um, it just changes the whole stance on the bike. And I mean, like, you would know that Definitely, for sure. Yeah. You know, it gets you a lot more squat on the bike, yep. kind of more force on the back end. Absolutely. Um, it was, I mean, we covered a lot of ground in that first day. I, I would say so. I actually ended up in a place that I was, I was quite happy with that first day, um, considering what felt like starting not quite from scratch, because you guys had some prior experience on the stock bikes, but coming right. over to these bikes, it's it's very unpredictable. You, you you know you have no idea how the power is going to react to the geometry of the bike. So, um, starting where we did and ending up where we did that day, I was very very impressed. I mean we, I mean yeah. Thanks to you guys, we have a world class tuner with us, um, helping us every step of the way, which is something that's just so impressive about what you guys are doing, um, to try to get this market ready essentially. So. Um, I think the first day went good. I, I ended up actually hurting myself at the end of the day. Yeah, um, that was a bummer. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't ride the second day due to a thumb injury. Um, but luckily we had Jack Field and Jess Gardner step in, who are the Aussie um, racers for that team specifically. So great to get them on a bike. How, how did that go for you having them step in? Yeah, I think that they came in with... Uh with some, you know, everybody comes into a, like one of these sessions with their own expectations and different backgrounds. And what was interesting for me was that everybody was able to kind of converge on, yeah, this is the right setup that gives us the, like we said earlier, the most amount of range, right? Yeah. It's like, this is something that can be like a light track setup. Um, it can also be really good for woods. Totally. Yeah. Right. Um, I think some enduro as well. Like it's, we're going to be able to cover a lot of it. Of course, what we're excited about with our product is that it's a everything is made to be tuned. tuned right. Right. And so you open up the the like what we've been trying to achieve with the fork and with the shock is like technical jewelry. Definitely. You know, like yeah. uh, that that gets me excited when yeah. when people can open it up and they see and it's like oh these are really nice parts because we're really proud of those parts absolutely yeah it's it's beautiful because you could take this suspension to just about any decent suspension tuner out there and they'd understand what they're looking at right totally which is huge i mean that's i think something that some suspension companies do is they go so far off on the other end um of 
this is very, very specialized. And you then, bring up an excellent point. Sorry to cut you off. All, all good. But you know, it's um, something that I've heard before in like some of these markets is like, it's all feature and no function, yeah. right? And we've been trying to do the opposite of that, like get to really good fundamentals yeah. where it is familiar, right? Um, the difference is, is that in this market for these bikes, there's no real good existing product yet. And, you know, we're super stoked to be uh, really early into this market. You know, we started with the Ultra V because, you know, what we heard um, even from the Charge Cycle Works guys early on was, you know, these bikes are like magic. We kept hearing yeah. that. It's like, yeah. th this is like a magic size. It's like, it's small enough to be playful, but it's big enough that it doesn't feel kind of dangerous. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it's, it appeals to such a broad audience of riders, yeah. anywhere from your grandma can ride the bike if she really wants to, to, yeah. to a seasoned professional can get on it and enjoy it. So it's, it's very cool. The bike is trail oriented. I will say that. Yep. It, it takes a lot to push this bike to a motocross level, which um, here we are at a pretty decent rough motocross track and it's doing good. I know that we can take it further um, in terms of dialing it into a motocross track, sure. Right. But in terms of how day three went, day three really for me solidified everything about where we were on the tune. We found, we, we took it to a more aggressive state, I think. Yeah. And we came back and we're like, no, let's, let's go right in the middle of where we were day one and two. Um, and then we just found this zone that like, not joking, within three laps on this course that we were riding, I was like, oh yeah, I just need this clicker adjustment here and here. Boom, I was happy the rest of the day. That's uh, great which, to hear. Which is huge, I think. You know, like we're gonna have, you're gonna be racing this setup later this year. Yes. Right, and so how are you feeling, you know, after this week, and then we've still got work to do, like yeah, we talked about, sure. right? Um, but how are you feeling about these races later on in the summer? I think the biggest thing for me is you guys are so keen on working through the tuning of the suspension that it makes it easy for me to go into something confident. Because I know like if I, if I have an issue in any sort, um, especially where upcoming is going to be heavy training towards these events, um, I'll easily be able to contact you and be like, yeah, this is, this is what I'm feeling. And you guys are so good about being quick to a response that ultimately works well. Well, quite honestly, I, you're I pretty good at the feedback part too. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just been, it's been super cool like to, to see that you guys are a company that truly care about what the rider wants yeah. um, and understand what a rider's feedback is. Um, Doesn't matter what we want, matters what you want. Sure, which, <laughs> which is important. And I think like as of right now, in this very moment, we've kind of nailed a really good tune that allows you to go from mild to aggressive enduro riding which is ultimately what the ultra v was built for right um and I'm comes so with the headlight yeah it comes you know? with, it's a bike that comes with the headlight it's got yeah. a very very linear um progression in the rear um so at the end of the day it's a, it's just a killer trail bike which is what the market is um, you know one of my big takeaways from this week in it's been really validating for us is how versatile this um this platform and this setup yeah. is looking yeah right because we've been able to really change the character of the bike yeah. by making a few minor tweaks um i think that a lot of people especially in this market they just kind of go straight towards like i want a stiffer spring yeah right it's so true but then like how did you feel with like stiffer and then when we backed it off like yeah like, that's, that's what i'm curious about the biggest thing for me was I wanted contact to the ground for traction and I wanted to know that like when I'm sitting down, like coming out of a corner, accelerating yeah. really hard, which these Ultra Bs have the capability to be a <laughs> rocket ship. Fully, fully, yeah. Um, I didn't want this, this pain going, you know, up my rear and through my spine, which right. um, to me is a big deal in terms of comfortability and tracking along high speed things, not deflecting off of rocks um, when you're at high speeds, that, that's very important to me. And then you have to take it from that aspect to now I'm cruising on a trail, enjoying riding with my buddies and very comfortable, right? That's right. a broad range. Right. So to find that and only have to make a, a few clicker adjustments for me, um, I'm just very, very stoked on. I think, I think it's a, in a great place. So. So, you know, 
from from your experience from this week, like coming in with like let's say a modified Ultra B on stock suspension, yeah. to where we've gotten to today. I mean, you were just out there, like tearing some serious laps. <laughs> um, how do you feel about where we are versus like where we started or yeah. where you started even like you know last Friday one week? Sure. Ago, you know. Yeah. So funny thing is having a thumb injury mm -hmm. earlier in the week yeah. almost made me have to focus that much more on tuning suspension so I could actually ride a dirt bike. Oh, interesting. I, I can't hop on the stock suspension Ultra B and ride this track right now because I don't have the grip strength. So the fact that I could do that and hold what felt like a decent pace to me um, on such a rough track is absolutely unbelievable. Um, I rode the stock suspension bike for a handful of 10 laps coming in the first day. Yeah. And by the end of that, I was like ready to be done riding for the day is what it felt like. So to hop off of that and hop onto a bike that at the time we had zero idea how it was gonna react. Um, right. Going over to your suspension and being able to ride what, <laughs> five more hours that day. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think that kind of speaks for itself, you know. Long enough to get some serious sunburn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm a gender, so that doesn't help. <laughs> I'm right there with you, yeah. man. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I think, you know, this, this has been a very beneficial week to be out here in France testing some, a, a huge variation of terrain on very, very powerful bikes. And it's been killer. Yeah. You know, there's been, I mean, a lot of really good teamwork this week. Like, this is a really great, great group of guys. You guys have a great group, too. I, it was nice to have us all come together and feel like nothing but, you know, there was no button heads. It was just good information, good riding, good tuning across the board. You guys are the, one of the best teams I've ever worked with, so. Really appreciate that, know, man. Props to you guys. Seriously. Yeah, same with you. Appreciate it. Thank that. you. Yeah. So, yeah, that's our, that's our week in France, and... Hope to get you guys on some suspension soon. Later this summer. Sick. <laughs>